hair strong thing. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with this. Um, let's, uh, all right, let's go up here. Um, I think, especially because he has been turned into a first a bug and then a frog. I think Patrick Stewart would be a perfect Sid. Uh, just because I feel like he would know exactly how to sound annoyed as hell that he is not fully capable. Uh, I just, it makes me think of the one Star Trek The Next Generation episode when he gets turned into a child and whoever plays him as a child, that that kid, that actor, so good. Because like he sounds just the right amount of grumpiness about the situation. He's like, I'm a dignified Starfleet captain. Why the hell is this happening to me? Yeah, see, Stewart is Sid. He could he could pull it off. I'm telling you. I still don't have a good Quinna. I want to go with somebody non-binary in in uh, Quinna's role, but I I'll be honest with you, I don't know who identifies as non-binary in the celebrity world. So I don't I don't have a good answer for that one. Um. I feel like Dagger would be someone kind of boring, uh, like like Scarlett Johansson. But I don't really like Scarlett as a Dagger. I feel like I feel like instead of that, like I want to see like one of the Deschanel's, Zoe, um, or whoever the other one is whose name I can't remember, whose name I should because I've watched all the episodes of Bones. Jim Cummings is Quinna. Okay. In in the Minsk voice, huh? Emily Deschanel. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. Who who uh who voices Beatrix? Cause I mean oh there's an owl here. What's going on, bud? Look at him. Can we can we make him take flight if we talk to him enough? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I feel like someone has to have really good chemistry with Christopher Walken in order to be Beatrix, because they totally have a thing together. And I have to like it's got to be it's got to be the perfect pairing. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute! I know what Alan Chittick plays. Alan Chittick one hundred percent plays the Chocobos. He does all the Chocobo sounds, and the reason I say this. Reason I say this is because he plays random animals in Disney movies. Like he played the chicken in Moana, and like, dude knocked it out of the park. So like, one hundred percent, Tidic as a Chocobo is like there. <laughs> Maybe even this Chocobo. I don't know how big of a Chocobo this one's gonna be. You know, you know who might be an okay Zidane? Uh, I feel like maybe, maybe Daniel Radcliffe would be an okay Zidane. I, he's not my top pick, I don't think, but he's the first pick that comes into my mind. Listen, I don't know who Gray Delisle is uh, either, so I, I'm, I can't, I don't have an opinion about her as Beatrix. That, they have an awesome chocobo drawing. She was a Vicon. I don't even know who that is in Baldur's Gate 2. I don't think I've made it that far into Baldur's Gate 2 to know who that character is. I am really hoping that they give voice acting to all of the characters in Baldur's Gate 3. Um, like full voice acting, because I would love to hear Minsk and Boo do something big on that. I also hope that Minsk comes back. I don't know why Minsk wouldn't. I feel like to, to, to have a new Baldur's Gate game and not bring back some of the classic characters would be a big, big stumbling block. At the same time, I'm like, oh man, am I going to have to beat... Am I going to have to beat Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 before I play 3? Like... Because I don't want you. I'm terrible at them. Like, the first two games are, like, listen, Joel, I know you love them, 
Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 are trash. Like, they're hard, they're confusing. Like, if I was introduced to D&D &D through Baldur's Gate 1, I'd be like, no, Dungeons & Dragons is the worst game of mankind. Why would anyone want to play these games like this? I just, I just don't understand it. <laughs> Mr. Chu88, please. We're not puppets. Uh, but I wonder, I wonder if they're going to go with the same style of gameplay for Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, or if they are going to update it to, you know, like, 5th edition, more or less. Like, their own version of 5th edition. The Kudra Secret uh, Palace is on the eastern side of this continent. Well, let's go already. I have a ship. Hope we can become strong like you someday. Vivi has so much... Listen, Dagger, you're doing just fine. Don't get, don't be down on yourself. She does Azula in Avatar. Have I met Azula yet? I think I've seen Azula once. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm on chapter 18 of book one of Avatar. I'm still slowly making my way through Avatar. So like, I've seen, I've seen stuff, but I don't know everyone that I've seen. There's, there's a lot of, like, me just playing it, like, in the background while I'm, like, doing Animal Crossing or something like that. Yeah, you know what? I, I think it might be that way, uh, Matt. I feel like there is, uh... Because I, like, I really liked... The Baldur's Gate-esque one that came out. It's not Path of Exile, so I can't I remember this. It's by Obsidian. It's really good. They came out with the second one recently, and they were both kickstarted. Why can't I why can't I think of it? Uh, I did not see the Chocobo's name. Should I have? Pillars of Eternity. I knew it was a P name. Thank you. Yes, Pillars of Eternity. Um I really like that. So if they could if they could make that same kind of gameplay for for Baldur's Gate 3, I would be totally fine with that. Like that would be just like the perfect cuz I have not beat uh Pillars of Eternity, uh but that's mostly because I give up on stuff fairly easily, but I've made it like I've made it to I think the last act in the game and like like when they when you get to that last act like they just the difficulty jumps way up and I'm like this I don't I don't want to do that right now you know so I just I didn't like I just stopped playing it and it's been like a year year and a half since I picked it up but I like that style so if it, if it's similar to that style uh I'll be I'll be 100 a okay with it. I think that I think Advanced Dungeons and Dragons is just a little too obscure for me. See, yeah, that's weird that they decided to go that route. Like you would think that they would make pillars. I don't know. Like I don't know. Like it, it'd be weird playing it on a console, no matter what. In my humble opinion. Uh, but at the same time, I'm also like, what if they just like, like, yeah, like you should be able to like read everything just fine. I don't know why they wouldn't let you, I don't know why they would like make it so tiny, but a lot of games are like that. I've noticed that as I've gotten older, I've also gotten like incredibly blind. I'm like, what? Listen, if you expect me to do anything in this game, I'm going to need this font to be like a couple sizes bigger there. Locomotive. I know that we've got that on a few other people, but what does that do? Locomotion. Prevent stuff. I don't really care about that. Freya, did I see that you learned something? Yeah, the part is in. The white draw. Oh no, Hades and the Switch isn't very good? That's uh, actually very sad because... Um... I want to play Hades. Like that is that is one game where I'm like, yes, please. Like that's that's a game I'm probably gonna splurge on here soon. Well, 
on me, Tiara. I think that's the best thing for you. Oh, wait, there's new stuff. New stuff here. HP 20%. That's even better. Alright, let's, uh... Are you learning high tide from something different? No. Chimera? Let's see. Spirit goes down, but evade and magic that... Okay, that looks better. I only caught the very, very beginning of your stream. Uh, but it looked like a lot of fun. Like, I, uh... And I've seen other people play it, and I'm just like, I need to just break down and buy Hades. Like, I love I love those roguelite games. Like, I'm not always the best at them. But they're just so much fun. And I feel like... I feel like I need to just do it. Same with, like, Spelunky 2. Like, I've seen people play Spelunky, and I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I should play Spelunky. I might not like it. And, like, it's true. I've never beat the original Spelunky. Uh, so, like, I have that kind of going against me, you know? Um, I'm going to save here just in case some random stuff comes up uh, inside of this uh, quicksand. Um, and it's on sale. I'm like, right now it's like $18. And I'm like, oh, it's 10% off. I could do it. I could do it. But then I'm like, why Why do that? Why, you want to get Crusader Kings 3? Why don't you just splurge on something that you know you're going to put hundreds of hours into? And then I'm like, I... Cause like I have a weird, I have a weird like theme when it comes to like splurging on video games. Like my mind is just like no, no, you can't do that. I can I can definitely understand that feeling when it comes to roguelites. Uh, Cause I have I sometimes feel like that, especially when you get like much much farther in. I know it's on the Game Pass, and I don't know why I don't download the Game Pass. I think it's because I like my Steam achievements, but, like, probably just, like, download... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because trust me, I have not forgotten about the fact that it's on Game Pass, and that Game Pass is, like, a dollar right now. Uh, and I'm like, I could do, I could, I could do that, but, uh... But that's the thing. I don't have an Xbox for anything else. I'd have these random achievements and nothing to do with them. <laughs> Enter with X. I will. Whoa! Look at that guy. Oh, speaking of this, have you guys seen the uh, trailer for Dune? It's pretty badass, I think. Like, it kind of actually gets me excited for Dune, which is... Just the gas regen. Some of that. Steal from you. White magic. Cura on. Oh, everyone. I enjoy that we we both made the same joke. Okay. Got some ore. It's always it's always ore. Ore is kind of pointless in this game, if you ask me. But not too many people are asking me. I'm being completely honest. Look at that, we're almost all over a thousand HP. I feel like it's a small uh, milestone. That's not good. You're confused. We need to cure you right now. Also, how dare you cast Confuse on my people? I'm well, it keeps all uh, sort of attacking, right person? Try attacking Freya with dagger. Oh, I was going to. Like, that was going to be my next... My next call. Because I, I don't know. Like, it's a, it's a physical attack, but is it enough? Command failed. It's okay. Freya can't seem to hit, you know, the broad side of a barn right now. So. What, what are you doing? Are you just blinding me? Again, not, not cool. Doesn't matter. Boom! The sandworm is not as scary as the sandworm in other games. Though, the thing that I love about the other games is that I find that this game doesn't have quite the same level of detail. 
uh, is like silly animations. Like I feel like in like Final Fantasy VI, you know, like when you do the right combination with what's his face and you can suplex Doom Train, like that's perfect. You got, you'll, I live for that. And I feel like in Final Fantasy X, somebody has an ability that just lets you like, like just like throw them out of the sky, like you, you baseball bat them out of the sky. I enjoy that. I feel like I feel like this game lacks that kind of silliness in terms of like like combat silliness. I think it is saving. I think I think you were correct. And if you're not, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you're correct anyway. So good job. Right. The barbots, barboots. I don't actually know how to say that word. Yet another word. I have no idea how to pronounce. Who would have thought it? I have not played Bravely Default. It's one of those games where I'm like, oh, that's probably very interesting. And then I'm just like, don't pick it up. And now my 3DS doesn't even turn on anymore. The lower screen doesn't turn on. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Orin. Orin just eats him into the sky. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh. Yeah, and the part that I hate about it, Matt, is that it's it was like the one 3DS, it's the one game console that I sprang for like a special edition of. Like I got the Pokemon like black and uh, black and white, uh, red and blue like version that lets you um like it came with the Pokemon games kind of already pre-installed and it's got uh, faceplate so you can swap out and it like I went to turn it on the other day. Like no, Megan wanted to play. Uh, she wanted to play Animal Crossing uh, for the DS, and I was like, yeah, here you go, play it on here. She's like, well, how, how, how do you play this? So I'm like, oh, you know, you just look at the stuff, you know, uh, <laughs> around, and she's like, there, there's nothing there, though? And I was like, no, there, what are you talking about? There's everything there. She's like, no, it's black. And I was just, I was so disappointed. Oh, I'm so glad they missed. Please, please be dead. Please don't counter me. Oh, counter with Steiner? Yeah, I was gonna say, Steiner, you're not long for this world. Come on, Dagger. Slash Frey, you can just straight up kill him. I'm fine with that too. Alright, there we go. As long as they don't do Sandstorm again, I'll probably be fine. Also, as long as Freya just keeps jumping. Alright, that's fine. That I can run away. Never. Running away is for cowards or for people who have lost the game at least twice. And I am neither one of those people. Alright, let's see if we can actually, like, walk down this thing now. Alright, now why, why am I doing this? Ah, oh, you know why I'm doing this? Because it doesn't hurt. You know, let's save some, let's save some, uh, some MP. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And now, we heal up everyone. First we do all that. Everyone's looking good and cured on you. Boom! I've never once died at this game at all. I've never gotten is any... Oh, why can't I... Oh, wait, this is probably not the one I need to go down, right? Like, I keep trying to go down and yet there's nothing to go down to. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I'm, I think I'm understanding what the game is trying to teach. I'm just ignoring it, you know? You know what? I have not summoned Atomos yet. Let's see. Oh, that's not cool. Jump. All right, here we go. Minor strike is gonna do all kinds of damage. All kinds of damage. Wah wah. Please do not counter attack. That's okay. That's okay. This is where we're gonna get the game over. Oh, maybe not. She actually healed quickly. Sometimes, like, I'll be like, hey, go heal. And she'll be like, eh, maybe. Is that enough? Oh, no, I thought that was enough to kill everyone. I was like, yes. Mind of strength. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna bring back the Dane. 
what's happening here. You don't need to do that to me. That was unnecessary. Let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, you know what? Yeah, Minus Strike. Minus Strike might finish him off. Let's find out. I don't know if Sedane gets the, uh, the V-Gen. Sedane was down on the battlefield when it happened, so it's okay if he doesn't. Steiner, for once in your life. Yes. Steiner for the win! I feel like that sword is comically small in Steiner's hands. Okay. Okay, let's maybe not go down there. For once. Alright, alright, so everybody's blind. And I have... Eye drops. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Everyone's getting them levels. Alright, and then Freya... Which I still uh, am thankful to my puffers for never responding every time I say her name. Uh, she she could, and she probably needs to, but I'm glad that she doesn't. Okay, so it's not there, but this one was glowing. Not, not Maybe that's not a glow. Maybe that's just sand being kicked up. They said it was in the quicksand. That's why I keep going to the quicksand. Maybe, okay, you know what? Since I know what we're doing here. I probably should, like, equip... Let's go ahead. I'm actually going to do this to Zidane. That's right. I'm out thinking you. G-Force 199. No, just run. Atomos? What are you? What are you? Look at you. This is amazing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're this kind of lackluster for 32 mana. Oh, poor Steiner. Steiner's 100% dead. Bye bye, Steiner. It was good to know you. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's do this. Oh, it's a gravity attack. Oh, that's very boring. That's like incredibly boring. Dagger, did you not heal yourself? Is that is that what I'm seeing? Hmm, they die. They die so quickly. Yet they, 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 like, wipe out my party every time. I don't know how to feel about that. Alright. What am I doing? Item. That's not it. I drop. Okay. And then let's go ahead. We're just gonna use... Since I have some, you know? Like... That's not I like that it takes forever. Why are the items in this game so ineffective? That's what I wanna know. Someone was like, hey. You know what really sucks? People just using items whenever they want? Like, wouldn't it be way better if the items in this game were trash? Didn't want to hit that one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cancel. Okay, so it's not this one I need to go to. 